Rubrics today is going to bring you to the west side of Singapore. We are along Yong Kwang Road, which is right behind us. And this is the block that we are going to bring you, which is within Yong Kwang Court. And we are heading up to this five-room unit, standing at 1216 square feet, newly MOP, minimalistic HDB apartment. We are also a short distance away from Jurong Lake Garden and also Taman Jurong Shopping Centre. So if you are looking for a five-room unit that is above 1,200 square feet with touch of nature and convenience, do stay tuned with us throughout this video as we bring you through the home tour. Let's go! First, let's talk BB Facts. We are here right now along Yong Kwang Road and this estate is named Yong Kwang Court. Completed in 2018, newly MOP. And this estate itself consists mainly of four bedrooms and five bedroom units only. And within the estate itself, there are a total of five blocks. Namely, 164A, 165A and B, 166A and B. And we will be bringing you to block 166A, which is right behind us. And within this estate, it consists mainly of four bedrooms and five bedrooms. With a total distribution of 302 four bedrooms and 226 five bedrooms. And within the block of 166A, there are total distribution of 76 four-room units and 76 five-room units. Looking at the site plan, we will notice that the five-room is located on one side nearer to the road, whereas the four-room is on the opposite of the block. Next up, let's take a look at the BB location. Yong Kwang Court is bounded by Corporation Road and Yong Kwang Road. And travelling south from your Corporation Road will quickly lead you to AYE. And locating right beside Jurong Lake Garden, this will also give us the benefit of having nature within the environment. And at Jurong Lake Garden, it will also link you up to Chinese Garden and Jurong Garden. And we are also located just 5 to 6 minutes walk from Taman Jurong Shopping Centre. LTA has also announced the construction of the new Jurong Region Line, which will connect you to the north-south and east-west line that brings you to the rest of Singapore. And for school choices, within 2 km, we have good school like Rulang Primary School within the vicinity. Other than that, we also have Boon Lay Gardens, Fu Hua and Shu Chin Primary School. Lakeside Primary School will be within 1 km. For secondary, we are located right beside Jurong Secondary School. River Valley, Yuhua, Fu Hua and Yuan Qing Secondary are also within 2 km of our location. And talking about childcare centre, right below the block, we will have Sparkle Tots Preschool. Next, let's take a look at the floor plan analysis at Yong Kwang Court. For the five room units here, they are all sized at 1216 square feet. With the three bedrooms located at the side of the house, master bedroom tucked at the corner with an ensuite bathroom. Common bathroom is right beside it, opposite the second common bedroom. And comes with a good sized kitchen and a service yard for your laundry. Living room is huge with a possibility for you to add in a fourth bedroom or a study room itself. And for the household shelter, it's located nicely at this corner, just beside the main door. So next up, let's take a look at the living room. So once you enter from the main door, you actually notice the household shelter being located right beside the living room with the DB box right beside it. And once we enter the living room itself, we will realise that the living room is actually very, very large. And with this, we can actually craft out the fourth bedroom if need be just by putting the partition wall across on this wall which is already located for you and flushing it with this particular wall of the common bedroom. And if you prefer to have a larger living room, you can actually use this as a secondary dining area. And with this as a dining area or a study room, you can actually put the sofa horizontally and you can fit up to a 3-4 to four seater L-shaped sofa. And the second BB Reno idea that we have will be the TV console. So you can actually flush the whole wall with the TV console, with a built-in TV console, and you will have a very huge entertainment area. So next up, let's move to the dining area. This will be the primary dining area for this five bedroom unit, whereby you can comfortably fit in a six seater dining table. And if you prefer, you can actually install more cabinetries at the back of the dining area for more storage space. And the next BB Reno idea that we have for you right here is to actually to have an open kitchen concept type of kitchen and dining area, whereby you can enlarge the whole space. What you can do is actually knock down this wall and install the dining table right here where the wall is. So this will give us an overall more spacious feel of the whole house.
As we enter into the kitchen, you realize that the kitchen is longish in nature with the bottom hung cabinetry already installed for you. And gas stove and double basin is already also installed for you. And if you are someone that prefer more storage space in your kitchen, you can actually install more cabinetry up here, flush across this whole wall to improve your storage area in this kitchen. And right behind me will be the service yard whereby you can do your daily laundry right here with the bifold door already installed for you. So next up, let's check out the first common bedroom. And as we enter the first common bedroom, you realize that the room itself is also generously in size. And right now we have a bunk bed right here. And if you prefer a bigger bed size, you can actually install a queen size bed with a built-in wardrobe right here. You can flush the built-in wardrobe all the way up to the ceiling itself. And with the queen size bed or a single bed right here, with a single bed, you can actually put up a study table right here so that we can have a study area for your children or you can change this into a study area. After looking at the first common bedroom, let's take a look at the second common bedroom which is identical in shape with more furnitures already done up. As we enter into the second common bedroom, you realise a twin size bed is already installed. So as you can see, with the size, we can actually install a queen size, even a king size with a built-in wardrobe right here. So next, let's check out the common bathroom. So the common bathroom is also minimally done up with a WC basin already installed. Shower area tucked right at the corner with the ventilation window right there. Before we check out the master bedroom, let's take a look at the BB pricing analysis. Within Yuan Kuang Court, price range for the 5 bedroom units right here will generally range between $700,000 to $788,000. And within the vicinity, we will also be able to find other 5 bedrooms in Yuan Qing Estate. In Block 138A to D, prices there generally range between $720,000 to $1.05 million. There are no other 5 bedrooms for sale at the time of this shoot within Block 152 to 162 series. There are executive apartments there for sale, though that will range between $700,000 to $830,000. Moving further north, in the 324 to 367 series, prices will range typically from $600,000 to $750,000. And next up, let's move on to our BB financial analysis. Let's break down the financials for a better understanding. Assuming you were to purchase this unit at $700,000 and if you were to take a HDB loan, other than the $5,000 deposit that you'll be paying in cash for the option and exercise fee, with HDB loan LTV being at 80%, the loan amount will be at $560,000. The rest of the 20% minus the $5,000 deposit will then amount to $135K. Assuming you are a couple buying a HDB unit for the first time, you'll be entitled to a $50,000 grant for a 5-room flat. This is an increase of $10,000 from the previous first timer grant of 40k for a 5 room unit. This will then mean the total amount you need to pay using your CPF or cash will be standing at 85k. And if this is within 4 km of either of your parents, you will then also be entitled to the proximity grant of 20,000, which will then further reduce the payment by cash or CPF to 65,000. Assuming you are a couple both earning $5,000 each and has been accumulating your CPF over your working years, this amount can actually be fully paid off by your CPF. With a loan of 600,000 at 2.6% for HDB loan, with a loan tenure of 25 years, monthly mortgage will then stand at around $2,550. With $5,000 per month, your contribution to OA will then be standing at around $1,150 each per month. Paying the mortgage with your CPF contribution of $2,300 combined every month, this will then mean you will only need to pay $250 by cash per month. Next up, let's move on to the master bedroom. And once we enter, we'll notice that the room is squarish in nature, large enough to place in a king size bed. And also, if you prefer to have this room as your study area, you also can place in a study table right here for your gaming or your workstation. And if you prefer, you can also install a TP feature wall right here with a dressing table right at the side. Another BB Reno idea we have for you is actually to knock down this particular wall to combine this room with the other common bedroom so that we can have a walk-in wardrobe type of master bedroom. And moving on, right behind me will be the ensuite bathroom. Similarly to a common bedroom, minimally done up, WC, wash basin, shower area already installed with a ventilation window right at the side. This will then bring us to the end of this home tour video. This is a 1216 square foot 5 room unit along Yong Kuang Road within close proximity to Jurong Lake Garden and Taman Jurong Shopping Centre. Newly MOP, minimally designed. And if you like this unit, do remember to give our team a call. 
And remember to hit the like and subscribe button on our Blue Bricks by PLB YouTube channel. We are also on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Seng Huat, Blue Bricks by PLB, always happy to show you the place. Mic test, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And moving on to the master room, let's take a look. It's natural. Uh, and moving on to the master bedroom, let's take a look at the. Uh, moving on to the master bedroom. Okay, next up, let's talk a little bit about the BB location. 